Welcome to the Articulation Station. Today's destination is a one-way ticket to the fiery depths of the Mendelssohn Scherzo from a Midsummer Night's Dream. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this practice vlog. Let's get right into it. All right, so whenever I practice this Midsummer Night's Nightmare, I like to start by playing through the opening slowly. This gives me a chance to really pay attention to how my tongue is moving and where exactly on the reed it's hitting. From there, I quickly move on to using various practice rhythms to clean up the opening measures. Some of you may notice that the throat A key stays engaged even when I move to the long B here. Since I play with the instrument between my knees much of the time, this raises the pitch, helping the note from going flat. Here we have some more practice rhythms, just really trying to iron this opening out. Now that some progress has been made, we're going to move on to the second half of the opening line. That means more practice rhythms. Alright, let's check in on the progress. And faster. Alright, I want to check this whole section and then move on, but first I'm going to swap out. Alright, so I feel pretty good about the work I've done there, so now it's time to work on the run up to that dreaded high C. Alright, moving on. At this point, you're probably noticing a pattern in the way that I practice. Again, moving on. That arpeggio is always pretty tricky, so I'm definitely going to spend some time working through it. And that just leaves the trills. So I promise I'm not trying to be fancy or look cool with that trill. I do not care about that stuff. For me at least, it's just the easiest, most consistent way to play it. Now that I've worked through the whole excerpt, let's hear how it sounds. And with that, I'm going to call it a day. My tongue is pretty tired and my read is pretty waterlogged. If you enjoyed this content, please leave a like. It really helps this channel grow. Until next time, thanks for watching and happy practicing.